hi guys welcome to my crazy life it's Lori and today we're gonna build our little stand of these pegboards now you can go with any size you want I grabbed a couple of the small ones I also have some of the larger ones I have some zip ties and this is all Dollar Tree um, I grabbed some of these metal hooks that go on the pegboard and all these different accoutrements, different attachments for the pegboard. You're gonna need two of these, two packages of these, which are the adhesive rinks. These are gonna help us a lot. Oh, and I also have one of these. Anything that's with this pegboard setup, and I will tell you, I found all these pieces at different stores. So what you're gonna do, take it out of the plastic, I'm gonna use this big one. I'm gonna open these up. These are either screw on or glue on. So when they come out of the packaging, this is what they look like. Let me get this out of the way. And what I did is I just went through and this snaps into this hole, right? So you're just snap it. It doesn't matter in this particular order if the, where the screw holes go because we're not screwing them. We're just gluing this and zip tying it together. And this is so easy. If you wanted to make it on a Lazy Susan, you certainly can do that too. I also got these at the Dollar Tree. I was wanted black, but I couldn't find it. But anyway, so then you're gonna peel the sticky back off of each one of these and attach it to the board. Now, in theory, you wouldn't need two of these because I have them on the other one, except for I want a little bulk and you'll see why in a minute. And I think also that these will stick better to each other, you know, for this application. So I'm just doing this, we'll speed this up. Now I'm gonna go through and peel off this top layer. And what it's leaving behind is the stick is the sticky goo. It's pretty thick. Um, and I don't think this is a removable. You know, like the command strips. However, if you wanted to, I don't know why you couldn't use the command Velcro to hold these up onto the wall. Um, that would be removable. You would have to see how strong the Velcro is. I mean, I know it's made to hold some weight, but how much weight, I don't know. But this is just a very simple down and dirty thing for my table. Now I need to do this one and then I'll be right back. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I moved you back a little bit. I'm going to, ooh, I don't know what that is, but we'll leave it alone. This is the paper towel holder. I'm gonna put it right here and I have it off the edge of my table. Because what I want to do is you kind of get a one shot deal here at adhering these together. So I'm just gonna push them together, but I'm making sure that we are all lined up. And then I am pushing these together. 
Now, you could probably do it without pushing this together or without, um, you know, push squeezing them together and then pushing the bar up in between, but I don't know that that would necessarily work. And then what I am going to do is go through these corners with, um, ah, you have to get it to go through straight through and that one's bent so is that one let's try let's try one that is not bent shall we so i'm just trying to go oh that's why there's goop in there all right so i'm just going to zip tie these and more so because i don't want them to um you know it to flop around a lot so i'm just going to do a couple at the top tighten it and if you see how it would work better if i had black now this middle one i would like to go through the middle but also through this i don't know, trying to get it so you can see what i'm doing there we go so i want it to go through the middle hole, but also the top of this paper towel holder. You can also hot glue this together and get a bunch of hot glue up in here. I just don't think it's necessary. And then we're gonna go same thing through here. Oop. There in the corners is the sticky glue. Oh, I love this. And then I'm just going to clear the top off. If you had the right color, it would just blend right in. Now, in the bottom, what I think I'm going to do is go through here, right? But I want to come up through the center and do an X. So I'll show you close up when I get it pulled tight. I went through here and up through here, so it's like an X. And then pull it tight and trim it. And we'll do the same thing here. We're gonna go through this one. Oops. But we're going to come up through this middle. And what this is going to do is secure the bottom to this pole. Right? And I just want to pull it nice and tight. And this is not going anywhere. Yeah, it's a little loose at the top and I could do the same thing at the top, but I don't feel that I'm gonna need to. Now let me put it straight up and show. All right, all righty guys, here we go. So this is how it will look when you build it up. Now you could put it on a Lazy Susan. I would say attach it harder. And then you could put things on the front. You can have things on the back. Um, I will say for sure that this one is much more sturdy than that one as far as um, anything with weight on it. And I have to also fix my, <laughs> I didn't flatten that out. But I think that's pretty cool. And think about this too. You could have two or three lined up next to each other. You're not having to put it on your wall and it holds plenty of weight. And I think it's pretty darn cool. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick and easy little DIY on how I'm hanging up my pegboard so I don't ruin my walls. Have a good one.